Do we have a question for John, perhaps? Yes, um, John, John Anderson. Um, just a quick question. On, um, you mentioned briefly uh, BIM pilot projects and some work to be done to demonstrate to the industry what can be done about those. Um, how, how is it going to be addressed that you're going to get the best project teams put together along with the fact that you might get the best project? I mean, I've done, I've done one recently with the Department of Health as a, um, a BIM pilot project. The buildings were so simple that you could have drafted them on the back of a postage stamp, really. There was nothing to them. The, the, what was demonstrated was limited just from the point of view that everyone was like, oh, yeah, you could, yeah, whatever, you know. Have you got any opinion on Well, um, there's a big diversity in knowledge um, across the industry. And, you know, by, by almost automatic definition, most of you here tonight are probably well down the track and are doing reasonably significant work. Um, but there's a bigger audience who don't know anything and and it, and if you expand it out into client groups, um, for example, in a health agency, right, um, in, in the capital management branch, okay, there might be a bit of expertise, but you put them out um, in the field, in hospitals, in operational hospitals, or if you take them in other areas, there's a big difference in understanding. I, I accept absolutely doing um, ambulance stations or whatever it was you did. Um, it is almost trivial. Uh, however, it's broken the ice. Um, so I would say, out of that opportunity, go to another more significant project and ask for a more or negotiate for a more significant delivery. Right. So probably all you did was document those projects. Yeah, as we would normally do on any project, yeah. Okay, but normally is not everyone normally, so yeah. there's a small lesson in it. Um, as soon as you go to a multidisciplinary model, that's, you know, that's winding up their complication. Um, and then you want to go to some form of contracting or taking that model into the construction process. It's not quite so easy. Um, so that requires another step and the property and the client having to get all those things together. So. Um, yeah, the projects have to be significant to the people doing them, but explaining them in forums. My view is um, clients should offer some initial inducement to facilitating pilots um, by way of slightly increased fees, perhaps, um, or, or no competition, right? You're selected on merit because you've got a bit of expertise or you've got a bit of passion you want to do it. But as soon as it gets into the second or third one, then we should be in the normal competitive place. Um, and the, the um, requirement that if you've done one of these early ones and it's a significant bit of work, then you've got an obligation to speak about it in a forum like this. So that your experience and the client's experience and the other people involved on the team's experience becomes more widely known. Um, I don't think it's fair, especially with public clients, um, that you get a lot of um, expertise uh, and hide it from the rest of the, the, the uh, industry. Uh, if we're going to make it work well, we've got to have it. And we've got to have people like um, building product manufacturers who come in and talk about how did you get the, that product into your project and what did it mean and what information did you need. So, you know, on technical topics that are vital for performance measurement and stuff like that. I, I just think major clients have to say they're willing to start pilots. And a pilot, in one sense, means a totally exploratory thing. <coughs> but in another sense, amongst a literate um, team, is a more challenging project with a more challenging objective. We want to move. If you look at Sonati Properties in Finland, um, they, they had um, a vision about one axis was one or more design team members or facility development team members using BIM um, versus another axis which was uh, like full life cycle. So the first project was only two people on BIM and it was just in the design. Later on there was the full team was on BIM and they did hand over to construction. So there's a, there's a process that can be made to observe and monitor and 
draw out all their valued experience and expertise and identify problems in industry. You might have a great oh, sorry, I've got to stop. <laughs> You're the only intelligent one up here, John. You've done a good job. <laughs> No. So there was, there was some talk though, that again, made from, from Kate and a few others, um, Megan Morrow, that um, uh, I wasn't the lady who helped with the, uh, the chair of Sue Holland. Sue Holland. So we can't ask the government uh, to get involved because it's too late for that. We've got to show up as a uh, as industry uh, and do the pilot project on that ourselves. Is that anyone who missed by you? Oh, I think, no, what she said was um, the Commonwealth Government will not want to lead it. They will want industry to be the manager of this process. Um, but my, and I think that's fair enough, right? We should be able to do it. We're the industry. Um, we should be able to do it. Um, but I'd also say that government's role is many and varied. So they're responsible for compliance and regulatory checking. So they have to engage the Australian Building Codes Board and other organisations like that, uh, neighbours and, and basics and other energy efficiency uh, government groups, they have to engage, right? So perhaps that needs funding because there's some development that's required. Um, major client groups in government could start pilots. Uh, they could start doing preliminary BIM protocols. Um, if you take process management and, and that sort of stuff, I think that's much more largely in uh, the industry side We've got the expertise, the expertise is there, it's just not gathered together. But a, a, a group like Defence would clearly have a business interest in seeing well-documented process management. Well, certainly, so, that's, that's the example of healthcare, I know you've done some of that as well, as um, that was. Um, should be in BIM already. I guess it's not, uh, it's about two and a half now, I think. They've got some good protocols behind it, but it's not. Well, and it's not deeply entrenched either. Mm. Uh, it, it's superficial. Um, it, it's just not there as, as it ought to be. Um, and the big corporate clients. Um, what's another one that I haven't mentioned? Oh, all well, the big builders. The big builders are in this space. They reckon they're going to manage the whole process. Architects say, oh, no, 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 we're the leaders of this. Well, I don't see them standing up and doing it. Andrew, from your... Um, having seen both sides, as I said before, um, and to look for a complete. Um, um, uh, 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 not complicated, just Andrew uh, was a Woodrest reseller ages ago, sure. then worked at uh, Architectus in the um, early days of their BIM, and is now with DKO, so you've seen both sides. Is DKO using it almost as if what's the big worry about? We just do it anyway? Um, we can do more. But when I first started at um, DKO after coming out of Architectus, where we fiddled with it, uh, with Revit and um, AutoCAD, um, they said, oh, we use Archicad. And I thought, oh, yeah, this has got to be, again, a little blind in the sand, somewhere where I was going to just drop the bundle and um, put it out to 2D, because that's what I was used to, Revit model, AutoCAD documentation. And no, they take it all the way through to the end. Whether we use BIM to the true sense of the word with all the information, with all the parts, we don't. Um, we, we go a certain part of the way. We are now sort of trying to work together and trying to move on to use more smart models. But in, in and I'm not, I'm not pushing one barrel or the other, but in the AutoCAD world, it's, it's a model, we use it. And it only seems to be the AutoCAD users, and I'm not bagging anybody, who freak out about it. 